Hi everyone, welcome back to Boomix Beauty Beat. My name is Laura. I'm a retired makeup artist and I'm 51, so mature. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about eyeliner for mature women and how to perfect it. Some little strategies and tricks that I've come up with that might help you along because our eyes change so much. You know, especially over that 50 mark, things start to just like, woof change on the daily so what I'm going to do is show you a few little techniques and tricks that might make your life slightly easier when you're trying to apply eyeliner and to deal so let me just go through some of the issues that we do have so that you know what we're trying to combat all right now it's a given that both of the edges of your eyes are going to look slightly different because our eyes are different on the ends and mine is no exception to this so what I've done today is I've done a basic eyeshadow, but I've done it in a structuring manner to give my eyes a general and overall lift. And also, I have been mindful about um, cleaning up the edges of the eye because what happens is when we mature, this part here where the meatiness is starts to fold over uh, exponentially and also muddy the waters as to clear cut delineation between where your crease lines are, things like that can happen. And in order to sort of work around it and build some illusion in there, I'm gonna just like walk you through a few little strategies. But yes, this little part here, as you can see, this meaty bit, I'll try to come as close as I can. You guys can see the fold, how that kind of lifts over and creates this kind of drooping effect. And it also, your eyes tend to get a little bit smaller as we age. So those areas become trickier to get our eyeliner into, and especially, especially with hooded light, like eyes on the end, it is even more tricky to kind of navigate all of this. And as our eyes shrink and fall, <laughs> this is what we need to do. All right, so first I'm just gonna show you slight strategies here in order to get the gist of how to combat some of these issues. Um, taking a cream product that's either in brown or black, I've also got, you know, with Boomex Beauty, there's also different kinds of um, eyeliners and cream shadows that can help to build structure. And you can either use brown, black, brown, black, whatever is going to work for you. So let's just for, for uh, argument's sake, take this brown. And I've already done this on my eyes earlier, but I want to re-show it to you so that you can see sort of what I've done and why I've done it without the video being like an hour long. All right, so taking a little bit of that brown cream that's in this uh, multicolored cream shadow palette that's in the Boom X Beauty line. It's a, a phenomenal palette to work with for building structure and for cream eyeshadows. I work with cream, creams and then I powder over the creams all the time um, just because the creams are easy to, and they're malleable to get into places that are a little bit tougher to do. And when you're just using powder, uh, sometimes this can be difficult to achieve because um, as our eyes age, it is really hard to get it to kind of adhere, stick, and placement is tough because the skin is moving. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I mean. So what I've done is taking like a, a brush that's a little bit flatter, you guys can see this one, taking it and taking the cream and building up a little bit of kind of a shadow structure underneath the eyeshadow is sort of how I structured it beforehand but we're gonna be doing eyeliner shortly. So you can see what that's done is I've built this little triangle here. And then <clears throat> in order to make it um, sort of stand out well, what you can do after that is just take another sort of flat brush, any kind of flat brush, a concealer. You wanna take a little bit on the tip of the concealer on the brush, and then you wanna go in and clean up underneath and it will crisp it up your line for you because if you don't do that, no matter how precise your brush is, it just does not seem to give you that nice lift, that crispy lift. All right, the next thing that I've done so far, just to kind of like speed things along, is I took um, any kind of eyeliner, black eyeliner. This one um, is one of my faves that I like to use. I do have a skinny one too, 
but this Maybelline one, um, I have to say is, is amazing. And whether I have my own line or not, I'm gonna call out when I find a good product. So this is the, uh, the slim, the skinny, uh, precise eyeliner from Maybelline. And it's awesome for getting into your waterline. So that's what I've done here so far. So you guys can see. Okay, and then now the idea is to show you guys a little bit on eyeliner on how you can um, perfect it. Now, if you have a steady hand and you can use a brush, you can take a brush that has a pointed edge, you can take an angle brush, you can take any kind of brush that has a fine edge to it and um, are able, you're able to uh, create a little bit of a line in here and we're gonna do that with an eyeliner. All right, so taking a black gel eyeliner, what we're gonna do now is take a brush that is has a sub, you know, sort of a refined tip to it. Anything with a refined tip will do. Um, and so this one here is actually a lip brush, but I really like the tip of it. So use your brushes for whatever you like. I'm gonna take a little bit of the gel eyeliner and take a bit up on the tip. I usually tap it onto my hand to take off the excess. And then what you're going to do is focus in on keeping the outer bit of the line a little bit thicker and making a bit of a triangle. You guys can see what I'm doing there. And I'm lifting it into the eyeshadow so that it kind of blends into it a little bit and creates this illusion, whoops, creates an illusion of a lift following that line. Being really careful of this zone right here because this is where things get muddy it, right in here. So this is sort of a smudgy gel line, right kind of on the outer half. And what that's doing is giving my ends of my eyes a little bit of a lift. But because we have that hooded bit going down, I do the eyeliner in layers. So when you're working your eyes, you wanna constantly be putting this sort of up shift onto the edge of your eye so that you uh, lift the drooping down. So what I'm gonna show you guys now today is I've got this uh, neat little gadget. It's a eyeliner stamp. And many of us don't have that steady of hands. And basically what this is, is I've got this from iMethod. They sent this to me, iMethod Beauty. And it's like a little stamp with the, um, you could see it's got like the little wing already done. And just because it's so tricky with the meaty part of our outside of our eye, what, what I like to do with this, and I've been playing with this for about a week or so, is I like to stick the flick a little bit weirdly up-shaped, up-tipped more. Can you guys see how I'm, I'm not doing it straight out this way? I'm tipping it this way and closer to the lash line like this, and then I'm gonna stamp stamp it on. So you guys can see how I've, I've got my, my basic lift here, but that last little flick gives you like a little bit of a, just a lift that wasn't there before. And it counteracts that hooded edge. And then on the other side of this stampy thing is just your regular liquid line. And then what I'm going to do is take it and just go thinner near the lash line to kind of give a nice blend to the line and it's a really nice liner actually I like it a lot and then basically I could take this and just sort of clean up any of the edge that I want to clean up and detail it if I want to I can also um, if I'm going out for the night and I want to be dramatic I double stamp <laughs> and so basically what that is is and this is if you're going for something more dramatic you guys so I double stamp and I can extend my stamp even further, as you guys can see, and make the flick a little bit more extreme. Especially if I'm going for a night out and I get even more lift on the end, you guys can see the difference. I don't have any um, eyelashes on today. This is just mascara. And then again, you can always go back once you flicked and just kind of perfect your line a little bit. And again, this is just for that perfecting that dramatic um, liner when you're trying to do something a little more exciting. 
And what I like about the stamp is it doesn't move and it uh, makeup on mature eyes a lot of times fades and I find the stamp is really helpful for it not fading. So for giving yourself that extra oomph, I really recommend trying um, something like that if you're having a hard time with steadying your hands. And you know, by all means, take it and play. Like I can play now that I've got this sort of on and I could create a point on the inner corner for that look that we all see. And just because we're mature doesn't mean we can't have some fun with the trends too. And just take your little line and just perfect it a bit. And then you get this awesome winged liner and uh, are able to avoid the um, sagging that can happen or the difficulty in maneuvering the manipulation of the skin that's in and around that area. So for that reason, I find the stamp very, very helpful. If you want to take this just one little step further, I'm going to show you guys like you can break up your lashes into little bits. You can trim them and cut them or you can buy them in bits like this. Uh, these are ones that I have here. And so basically I'm just taking a little bit of Kiss Lash Glue and I'm going to lift my corner with lashes to add to the whole procedure. And the way that I'm gonna do that is just to take this little bit of glue, I'm letting that dry for a second. I'm using the Kiss Lash Glue lately. I'm really liking it, enjoying it. And then you could either take this with your finger, you could take it with your tweezers, you could take it with an applicator, whatever. And you're going to apply this right on the edge of the lash where the twinkle happens, right on the end. Just that little twinkle. And just take it in a quarter of the way through with maybe two expressions of these, like two little flares. And I'll show you the difference of what that does to the eye. So just these two things, eyeliner and a little bit of a lash on the very end. And it takes a, a folded hooded eye that is mature and makes it look much more lifted and youthful. The glue's gonna dry for two seconds, we'll let that dry. Without having to wear like a full, you know, a full beat, a full lash. So we'll let that dry for a second and then come back and review the difference. All right, so just to give you guys a kind of quick review. So basically what I'm suggesting to you is to work with cream shadows, whether they be brown or black, to create a basic structure underneath the edge of the eye so that you can build that uh, angling and overcome some of the hooding that happens. I suggest that you use a concealer and a flat brush to clean up under because this little area here gets discolored. And then I suggest that you use um, any kind of consistent pattern of working upwards and out in order to keep your eyes moving in that direction. Then using a basic gel black liner or brown liner, whatever you wanna do, and create uh, a basic line, a smudgy thicker line underneath. And then you can go and do uh, any kind of stamping or if you wanna use a liquid liner to do the final flick on the end. And those strategies will help to overcome the hooding that happens on the very edge of your eye as we mature. Um, and then as far as water lining it, water lining also can crispen the look of your eye, it crispens things up a little bit so that it gives it a fresh appearance. And then don't forget finally to use, you can use like little clumps of eyelashes and just flick a couple on the end and it will make your eyes appear longer, bigger and upturned. Those few little things will dramatically change your eyeliner game as we mature and it will perfect it and make it look fresh and cute and new and make your eyes look um, super open and sort of alluring. I hope that's been helpful for some tricks, you guys. And you guys can look here. I've got um, what I came in with on the one eye and then I wanted to show you the difference of the other so that you can see uh, the perfecting and how that can affect the shape of the eye and how much wider and lifted it can make it just with those couple little techniques. And I'm sorry I've been gone for a couple weeks. The COVID got me, uh, but I will be back with another video real soon. And yes, 
Great to see you guys and summer's on its way. So stay tuned for more fun stuff coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now and comment if you've got any problems with your eyeliner. Talk to you soon. Bye guys.